I'll throw a backhand zone. My zone with the duck on it. I'm just gonna throw a zone. I'll just throw a little forehand zone. I'm gonna throw a little sully zone. It's gonna throw a little forehand zone. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons to stay on top of our latest content and feel free to leave a comment below. All right, so let's get started with hole 10. Um, starting from the long pad, though we'll be throwing from the short one that you see here. Uh, you also see going down the right side of the fairway is a barbed wire fence that normally is played as out of bounds. Um, this is not really much different than hole 9 that we ended on last time, except for a lot fewer rocks. Uh, you may also notice that sign on the tree to the right just kind of pointing you to where the basket is. Uh, so there is this position uh, in short. There is a longer one as well, but both of them are easily reachable um, if you got a halfway decent arm, which unfortunately I don't. So it should be an easy birdie for you. We're back. Uh, nothing definitely happened a couple weeks later. So uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, we're on hole 10 now. Uh, it's like 170 feet, just a little left. I'm gonna throw a backhand zone. Oh my gosh! In the middle of the fairway. What was it I was doing to one of you, like hailing from Jasper, Alabama? Oh, it's Corbin? That's right. Corbin from That's right. Alabama. That's right. Kane. Oh! Oh! oh wow. That's not Amanda. Okay. No, it's I was just, just pointing to where it's at. Hailing from Jasper, Alabama, Corbin Porter. Here he goes. Best drive out of all of us so far. Yeah, here you go, Will. All righty. <sighs> no, I don't want that orange disc. I want so, this other orange disc. What do you think about pole pot? <laughs> <laughs> you don't? Oh, you know, it's pretty obscure. It's just about the Cambodia. Yeah, that's oh, a lovely no. shot. Hey, found gap. a hole. Oh. Nice, that'll work. These tea pads. Let's see if I can make this. Oh. Get in. Oh, Look at that. what a make. Just like Simon Lazard always says, if you have a bad drive, you just have to make a good putt. Isn't that right, Corbin? Okay. He doesn't even know who Pol Pot is. Uh. <laughs> All right, Kane. If you make this, I'll give you a jugabillion dollars. Is that funny, Corbin? Oh, wow, we. we. That, was that was. Gosh, that one might have been worse. <laughs> All right, Corbin. Same offer for you. A good jugabillion. We might have done it. Oh! It was close. It was close. There's a disc in the basket. Yeah. Oh, ah, David. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it 
cold for us out here. <coughs> Too cold for us out here. Pick up us whole farts and overly old young guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a 21 nice going on 70 over here. <laughs> we did it. And on to hole 11. Uh, again, starting from the long pad, short one, so if you're just behind this uh, trash can. This is an interesting little hole here. Um, you do have a pretty broad um, lane to throw down. Uh, however, the shot is uh, dramatically different depending on where the basket position is. Uh, the one we're throwing to, which is in the short position, is behind this large oak tree that you see us approaching. Um, there is another basket that you'll be able to see off to the left and slightly down the hill. So depending on which one you go to, it can make a difference between whether you're throwing a, a forehand shot um, or a slight hyzer shot to, uh, to get to the other basket. Um, so here you just kind of look back, see the tree here that you're throwing around. Uh, we'll then turn the drone back towards the uh, far left position basket to give you a little better view of that. Uh, but also, there is a third position that is off to the right and well in the back of where this basket is uh, that has been played um, a time or two before in tournaments, especially the Mega Bowl. And that one can be really challenging to get to in three, so have fun. Go. Alrighty, hole 11, we're here. It's just behind that kind of big dead tree back there. It's, uh, let's see how far it is, 293. No, 234, my bad. I'm gonna throw my zone with the duck on it, but uh, that couldn't beat the same team. <laughs> Unfortunately, here we go, that's right. <laughs> Please, Heiser. That looks pretty good. What do you think, Kane? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Not bad to the right. It's just behind that tree. Hailing from Jasper, Alabama. Better than Kane Porter, Corbin Porter. Oh, uh, he might not be better than, he might not be better than Kane Porter. Kane, all right. And better than nobody from Jasper, Alabama. <laughs> well, you go that way, I go this way. There David, you go. Your, your shoe's untied. They stay untied. <laughs> Do it up. Nice layup. Gosh, that was, uh, that was, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Let's see. Just make it right in the basket. Oh, oh just short. All right, let's see if Kane can secure his bird. Nice layup. Yeah, I hate this thing. All right. Corbin hailing from Jasper, Alabama. See if he can make it. Let's see him miss it. Nice. You can see my duck right there. Oh. Right there's my duck. Nice. Moving on now to hole 12, um, getting again at the long pad, and you just saw the short pad uh, as we're approaching it. Uh, and as you can see, this is another one of the holes that uh, you'll find a few of out here at um, Clay, um, just like hole 6 and hole 8, if you saw the previous video, that have a, a significant slope 
uh, going down in one direction. This one, of course, sloping off to the left towards uh, 13's tee pad down at the, the bottom of this ridge. Um, so you can imagine that you get some uh, pretty unlucky rollaways. Uh, you'll find yourself almost Inverness style, making him to make a you know, 50, 60, 70 foot uh, comebacker up the hill to get back close to the basket. Uh, you also got several trees out here in your way, one of which you saw we just nearly hit with the drone. Uh, this basket position here is the short one. There are um, at least one, I think there's two other positions. One is further back and to the right, and I believe there is a second one that is um, down here to the left. So um, that one can really be tricky uh, for rollaways. Though, as you'll see, this one is pretty bad for them as well. So good luck. Well, are we on 12, right? We're on 12 now. On hole 12. All right, uh, going to, I think there's only one position on this one. Well, there's two, but this one just went in the basket, so. Oh, okay, right. The other one you can see. I think there's only one basket for the hole is what I mean. It's like two positions, but, okay, whatever. <laughs> All righty, uh, it's, I think 260 or 228, one of the two. 260, yeah, 228 is down right. the hill. I'm just going to throw a zone. Here we go. Feast your eyes, porter boys. Oh, I threw it way too long. Haha, <laughs> -ha. get pranked. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, good kick. kick. Oh my goodness. Good grief. <laughs> that might be parked. That was a weird looking throw, but somehow oddly effective. That was yes. epic. Kaboom. Nice scoop. It's gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> Here we go. Kaboom. Oh. Oh. Yeah, kaboom, all right, right in the tree. Good Do it up, huh? David. I'm not sure if I got that. Put it in the basket. Yeah, right. <laughs> Help. Oh, no. Tragic as they walk away. Put it in the basket, Corbin. <sighs> I want to highlight. Oh, goodness. Ooh, not bad. Oh, oh man, there it is. Oh, keep going. Oh, my. It's still, it look at that. Oh, it it's trying to find a disc from last time. That's what it's trying <laughs> to do. All right, here we go. And keep I got a blooming this. branch right in front of me. What? Of course, it doesn't help when the leaves come out beneath you, too. Boom! Nice putt. Oh, oh it almost did. <laughs> Let's see if I can make this. Nice. Boom! Good putt. Hey, Kane. Kane. Oh, not bad. On to hole 13, starting from the pro pad here, and then you can see the, the short pad to your right where this bench is. Uh, this is a, a bit of a blind shot here to the uh, the bat, both both basket positions. Actually, there might be a third one too. Again, sometimes it's gonna be hard to remember um, at clay, um, but all the basket positions are over the ridge um, that you see straight ahead, so you really can't see them. You may be able to see the flag on top of the short position. Otherwise, you're just going to have to kind of take it on faith that you're throwing uh, in the right direction. Uh, as we crest the ridge here, you I mean you see the basket again, short position. There is another position uh, off to the left uh, of this one and slightly behind it. Uh, I don't think there's a basket there for it. 
um, right at this point when we were doing this filming. Uh, but there is also, I believe, another position that is on further down the hill behind, straight behind 13 here. So another one of those, just hope it doesn't roll away on your deals. Um, hole 13, this is 187. You can maybe see the tip top of the flag out there. You just want to throw something straight on forehand this ringer. Go! I think I'm really short, but that's okay. Oh man, that looks good. Now, hailing from Jasper, Alabama, Corbin Porter. That's right, better than Kane Porter. Cub Louie. <laughs> Who's going to keep jinxing you like crazy with that? That's right. That's the point. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Ugh. What? <laughs> Got something to say, boy? I'm surrounded by weirdos. <laughs> Yeah, man. well, it's straight it straight anyway. All right, go for All it. All right, let's go, Corbin Michael Porter. KMP, baby. Okay. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Let's go. So he called you nickels when he called him dimes. That's what I was thinking. I said, are you worth five cents? <laughs> not even worth Sit. <coughs> What? Dang, someone ate their Wheaties this morning. Corbin. Corbin Michael Porter. Here he goes. Oh, he made it. Let's go. <laughs> the three gentlemen. <sighs> Finishing up. Looking for the best discs? The best equipment? The best events? Then head to ironcitydiscs.com. Use the code to save 10%. Or visit one of their Birmingham locations. Iron City Discs, step up your game. On to 14 as we take off here from the pro pad. Right uh, side you see there is the short pad. Uh, like 13, this is an uphill shot and usually, again, pretty much a blind shot too. You really can't see um, either basket position uh, very well from uh, the tee pad. Um, a uh, little thing, a little note here too. I did have to film this in two days because it was on 14 that I accidentally crashed my uh, drone in that tree we're passing on the left just now. So I had to come, I had to fix my road, my uh, propellers and come back to finish it. Um, here's 14's basket in a short position, uh, and then off to the left here. Um, I thought there might have been an extra, another basket. Yeah, there it is. Um, there is a basket over in the the long position. Uh, this one you see is close to the edge of the wood, so it can be uh, pretty easy to overshoot when you're trying to throw to this basket and wind up uh, down on the woods there. So um, making, it, making a pretty accurate throw is important on this hole to keep from being in a bad spot. Back at hole 14, not back at, this is the first time. Um, 170 feet. You think you can reach that Corbin Michael Porter? Okay. Well, I'm gonna reach it. I'm gonna throw my duck. Full hand it. Oh no. It should still be a putt. Yeah. Hailing from Jasper, Alabama, Corbin Michael Porter, KMP baby. Kaboom! That's a good throw. Nice. Also hailing from Jasper, 
Corbin. Corbin? Kane. Nichols. Potter. AKA Asparagus. Mr. Asparagus. Oh, he's built like a string bean. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's a little bit of distraction you're, you're there. Built like a string bean. Am I green beans? Broccoli. And watermelon, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a vegetable. You, uh, you're throwing a Millennium Disc? Wow, we look at you. Put it in the basket, asparagus. <coughs> Green bean. <sighs> so what are you again? Broccoli. Broccoli. Okay. Broccoli. Broccoli is really good. I love eating broccoli. <laughs> Boom! Great putt! Nice putt! I don't know what my score is right now. We did it, we finished the hole, isn't that right, Broccoli? Yeah. On to hole 15 as we begin playing our way down the hill. Uh, here we are from the lawn pad, and you see this is a pretty perilous shot uh, from the long position here. It's a not a it's not a long hole at all, but it again from the pro pad it can be uh, quite dangerous there you see the short pad which is not the easiest in the world even though it's pretty short you do have a lot of guardian trees and also that uh, barbed wire fence we've mentioned before uh, does come into play down the right side of the fairway um, is OB um, as well too actually kind of miss Will tripping over it when he's trying to come back in uh, in a couple of holes um, so there are two uh, positions on this uh, basket, uh, short and shorter. Uh, this is actually the shorter of the two here. Uh, there is another position on the other side of that fallen tree you see there. Uh, both of them, though, again, it's uh, you know they are very short. They are easily birdieable holes, even easy enough to make ace runs on, but. Again, if you don't play it just right, if you get unlucky, uh, you can get a serious roll away down the side of the hill, which I've seen happen quite a few times, so uh, don't take it for granted. Alrighty, hole 15, pretty short one from the short pad, it's only like 100 feet. If anyone aces this, I'll give you all the money in my wallet right now. Here we go. Yeah, like $1,200. Alrighty. I'll just throw a little forehand zone. What if I ace it? Do I get more money? You get to keep your own money. <laughs> Maybe I can multiply it. That'd be nice. Just magically. Ta-da! That's right. Oh, that's way too high. Nice try, though. Hailing from Jasper, Alabama, <laughs> Corbin <laughs> Michael Porter. Michael. Ooh! Ooh. Oh! oh that was he was so stoked. Yeah. He just knew he had his worth money. I think the closest to fans should get all the money in your mouth. Uh, no, I don't think so. Because that's a bit unfair to me. Because I have to give away money. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Mm. That works, I guess. All right, there we go. Corbin parked it. Michael Porter. Yeah. KMP, baby! <laughs> Corbin Michael Porter. <laughs> mm. 
Nice putt, KMP, baby. Dorito. Broccoli. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Bam! Now for what's probably the most fun hole on the entire course, hole 16. This is, again, taking off pro pad, short pad, just below here. But both of them are just downhill all the way shots. Um, um, now off the long pad you do have to give it a little bit of a little bit of power to it to get it through these trees uh, down this um, down this lane to get out in the open short pad it's very easy to get out in the open here too just pretty much uh, throwing it letting gravity do all the work there are several positions on this um, hole I probably don't think I get I'm able to show you all of them with this drone shot uh, you do see uh, the short position out here in the middle of this field, uh, the, uh, the, where we're throwing to. I believe there is another position out here, a little bit further down the hill, also uh, out in the open. Uh, and there, there's a couple positions here in the woods. You see, there is one basket um, just just inside the woods here. Um, there's another one on off to the right, close to that fence, uh, to that barbed wire fence that you, are, you know, don't see here. I've only seen it that position, I think, once, but I do know it is there. Uh, so it is a good amount of variety uh, on this hole uh, that you may encounter. Hole 16, this one's a fun one. Uh, if you start rolling, you might never stop <laughs> till you hit those pines down there. Alrighty. Which one are we going to, the one in the woods or one to the left? We're going to the left one down there right. in the field. Just there in that little, just gonna throw a little challenger putter on a nice hyzer. Just let it sit soft down there. Oh, that might be way too high. Might be way too high. Sit. Ah, oh, way too high. Huh? What? What'd you say? That is way too overstable. Actually, no, well, never mind. It's well, okay. it's still rolling. <laughs> oh, no, oh, yeah, it's still going. There it goes. Nice. KMP, baby! <laughs> wow, so far. Oh, my goodness, Sid. Wow. A little bit of a crush on that one. <laughs> yeah, I barely threw it. Yeah, right. Uh, you didn't just barely throw it. Wait, can you throw the back here? Um, yeah, probably. Mm. Not bad. Nice Not throw. Not bad. Surprise guest. KMP. Where is he going? Nice throw. Oh, now it's rolling. Okay, nice. <laughs> Go throw. All right. Nice. He's trying to assault me. Oh. oh! I thought I made that. Corbin! <laughs> KMP! Corbin way out yonder. Just a touch. That's just, that's another upshot. Wow, we. Alrighty. David having the best drive out of all of us. <laughs> Roll, baby. Oh, it almost did. <laughs> Alrighty. Make your putt, David. Don't worry about them, just hit them. Yeah. Just hit them. Ah! Oh. Oh. 
On the hole 17, uh, here we are at the long pad, flying to the short one you'll see coming up ahead. Uh, long pad again, um, as you're playing your way down the hill, you do have to give it a little bit of oomph in order to get it down to around where the basket is. Um, short pad, it's, you know, again, it's much more accuracy than anything else. The basket is in uh, the trees to the right. Uh, normally there is a an arrow on the uh, pine tree that's about, almost in the middle of the of the right in, by now right in the middle of the screen uh, that points you in the direction of the basket uh, but it's down actually on the ground when we're filming this uh, there is a little as you can see opening here um, just past you know, the pine tree I mentioned that leads back to the basket uh, you can potentially find a couple of local routes in here if you're pretty lucky, but the play is to try to get it um, just past this tree and then have it hook hard to the right to get towards where the basket normally is. There's actually a couple positions out here. You can see the shadow of the drone on the ground and the fallen um, arrow sign. Um, but once you get through this here too, um, you, you have to get it close to the basket. Uh, there is a position that's rarely used. It's just inside uh, the entrance here uh, to the left. But as I said, it's very rare that you ever see it in that spot. It's almost always right where it is now, which is up on a kind of a, a little hill here. So it's, it's a bit of an upward shot once you get to it. But it is usually a pretty easy birdie. Hole 17, yeah? Yeah, hole 17. Hole 17. Uh to the right way in there yeah just a little uh little forehand pitch kmp baby <laughs> all righty here we go i'm gonna throw a little sully zone on a forehand oh it's gotta beat it it did and a great tree yes that's very good <laughs> Oh, that looked great. That looked great. Oh, that's early. Well, you got through oh, that. You got through everything. Nice. I don't know what. Well, kick right. Oh. Yeah. At least I'm looking down into there. Alrighty. Ah, right the tree. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> Eat a bag of pine cones. Broccoli! Yeah! Nice putt, broccoli. KMP, baby. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's Boom. loud. Oh, good grief. Oh man, what a tricky lie for Mr. David. A little trick shot here, kind of. All right, a little trick shot, oh my goodness. Oh. Nice, what a putt. And right down, as you can see. I think I'm gonna make that one. Well, let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, so you'll do something dumb. Come on, do it. Hey, it's your favorite forehander, William. Want to know where I get my custom dies? Then head over to Galactus on Instagram. They've also got some great merch for you. Remember the name, Galact Discs. Hole 18, now this is actually not the normal end of the course. There are a few holes left that we'll talk about here in a moment. Um, but so once again, long and short positions here. Um, Tape pads may not necessarily be in the greatest of shape, some of them, but you know, they are turf pads. 
Um, and again, uh, just like on 17, the basket is off to the right. Um, there is an opening you need to hit, though this one's considerably larger than what 17 had. Uh, there are, I think there are three positions out here. Though there's really only two that you ever really see the baskets in. One of which you can see ahead. There's actually a pretty good sized um, ditch right here, right in front of this basket. Um, sometimes it's played as OB. Sometimes it's played with your standard, you know, uh, surrounded by water. Sometimes it's casual. So if there's ever a tournament here, you do need to try to just make sure of the rules. There's also was, as you can see on the ground here, a Mando sign that for a tree that was to the left of this fairway. But um, it's a, kind of on the ground here. I don't think anyone's ever, at least last time I was there, they haven't put it back up. Um, but here you see, you know, the basket here is over this ditch. So you do need to try to try to stay out of the ditch if you can to make it a little bit easier shot on yourself. Um, it's, a, it's about a good five or six foot deep one. Um, now, as we turn to the left, there is the other position you see off in the distance. It's actually on this little embankment. Now, I want to say there might be another one out here short of this, um, but I can't quite remember. But anyway, here you see this is up on this little built up area. Uh, and again, it's one of those that uh, you could get a roll away on if you're not careful. Well, 18. This one's also short. Straight ahead, Corbin, Michael, Porter, asparagus, no, broccoli, whichever well, one you are. First time. Alrighty, um, just gonna throw a little four hands on. There's a, little, there's a big creek bed before the basket. Try to land in there. That is, oh, yeah, I didn't really like it either. KMP, broccoli, yeah. Oh, skip. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Oh, that's too much hyzer. Where'd it go? It was just at hole one somewhere? That's kind of weird. Ooh, come out of it. Sit. Nice throw. Ah, it's down to the ditch. <laughs> Disgusting greens. So. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Vegetables are good. Nice throw. Hey, that actually, I thought that was going to hit that. All right. Oh, shoot. Uh, he tried it. I'll try. <laughs> nice. Come on, Will, get down there and putt. Are you recording? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Now these next two holes are usually not played in any tournaments, um, but sometimes they are here too, but usually they're not. Anyway, on the hole 19, you see this is um, straight uh, straight shot down the hill here too. You have the uh, street that's OB to your left. Um, there are actually a few positions here in this pretty short uh, landing area here, uh, just a short position. There's another one I'm going to try to fly to here. That, you, know, you see the position here just underneath the uh, wind shadow of this limb. And then off to the left, there's a really fun one. That's, uh, I think, again, we're going to try to see it here. Uh, you can see the little stop in the ground there, too, that's just in front of this gully. Um, that one can be a real challenge to try to keep from going in the water when it's in that spot. Here's 19. Right by the road, just a little short one. I'm gonna play it off the road. I definitely played it off the road. Oh no! Oh! I just made, just made oh, it. Crap, wow! We. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Oh, never made oh, it. Got a tee off again. <coughs> oh, 
Is it going to get back? Is it going to get back? Yes, it Oh, did. nice. Yeah. Oh, just a little more height. Yeah, still not bad. All right, reteam for three. That's definitely in bounds. No road at all. That was far. Nice. <laughs> yes. Nice bogey. Sure, you could have aced it. Huh? Where is it? <laughs> well, you got time to run back. Ah, I pushed oh, no. it right. I pushed it right. I don't know. I wasn't look. I wasn't looking for it. <laughs> hole twenty, another one that's usually not played in tournaments, but still is a fun little hole to try to play. Only one position, and that's straight ahead, but you can't see it from the tee pad. So you got to try to avoid hitting the batting cage building to your left. And, but most especially, hope you don't land on all this tall grass off to the right because uh, you'll not only have fun looking for your disc, but you have a good chance of never seeing it again, too. This is a uh, uh, hole 20. And as you see, we got a great look at the basket on this one. This is a, this is a dumb hole, I'll say. <laughs> I'm just going to throw up there and hope for the best. Up, oh, no chains. What are you going to throw, Corbin Michael Porter, hailing from Jasper, Alabama? Uh, an explorer. An explorer. He's going to explore this hole. He might get yeah, he could. It's possible. It's up there somewhere. Oop, you got the tops of it. You're playing baseball too. Move! At the side of the building. Well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna have a good aerial view. Good aerial view of this one, are we? <laughs> good aerial view of this hole. I knew I should have brought the drone. <laughs> it's not exactly balancing. Do it. Oh, so close. Or is this 20 or 20? This is 20. Good layup, good layup. Yep. You're definitely safe. Look at that. Oh, Boom. nice make. I wonder where mine is. <laughs> Do you see my disc? Oh, I see my disc. What a throw. Good luck now, finding that felon you just why found. This is basket number three. That stat basket you saw back in the first video with uh, hole three Wah. was originally here and then they got swapped out let's with see if we can find this fella just a little bit of play trivia for you and we'll end with hole 21 um despite what you know will says this is actually not a bonus hole uh, this is usually your last hole as most tournaments out here at clay are 19 holes um, skipping 19 and 20 and coming on to 21. Um, I did make two different videos of this both from the long pad and the short pad because they unlike other ones it's not simply a matter of one's just longer than the other one 
but I just decided we're long enough anyway, so just go and do the, the long pad. Uh, there's actually several hole positions here. You see this one uh, that it's at now too. It's just short of this uh, ditch that's quite often filled with water. Um, so uh, surrounded by water usually does come into play there. Uh, there's um, two more positions off to the left I'll show you here in a minute and then there's one pure position I've only seen it once and that's where we're looking at here to right on the edge of that large ditch if you remember way back in the first video I talked about on hole one there's a again about a good seven eight foot uh, ditch is usually fill of water there too so that comes a really dangerous shot when it's there and as I said, there are two more positions, one close to the road and then one up by this copse of trees here. There we go. There we are. Alrighty. Um, this is the last of the bonus holes, number 21. Just a little short forehand shot or backhand shot or whatever or shot you want to do. Huh? Or yeah, yeah, or whatever, whatever shot you want to do. Alrighty. I'm going to throw a spike hyzer. I'm going to throw it Mason Bonner style. <laughs> That's coming right back to the yeah. <laughs> Mason Bonner style, baby. <laughs> what was the plan there? <laughs> Mason Bonner style. That was the plan. I told you the plan. Did it go far enough? Oh, oh tombstone! Wow, wow we. Tombstone. What is Corbin gonna throw? Hailing from Jasper, Alabama. A little thumber action. Ooh, it skipped. And it rolled a little. Nice. Not bad, son. It almost went all the way in the ground, too. Look at that tombstone. My goodness. Oh, it's too much, Heiser. Yeah, too much. Roll down the hill. Hey! Ooh, that might have a look though. All right, we don't have to go too far for mine. Yeah. And just walk it. Oh! Did the Mason Bonner bomber special. That's right. Watch out, Will! Watch out! Watch out. Yeah. You almost killed me? I'm trying to assault Will. What? There's a good little, look at that roll. Roll. Stop rolling. Oh you're, my you're goodness. still throwing? What? Oh, finally stopped. They're just no. trying to assault each other out here. Sorry about that. Parked it. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm out here with three oh right in the water. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that went in the water too. Can I end with a birdie maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Possibly. Oh, I didn't push it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, don't put. Wait. Wait. Don't putt yet, wait. <laughs> it would have been okay. Oh, oh. And the culvert, whatever that is. Don't mind me. There we go. We made it. Right here. So that's, uh, so that's, um, that was play. That was play. It's uh, it's not a very not a very much played course. A very kind of diamond in the rough in Birmingham. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it was played a lot. Unfortunately, until 
the city started charging to play tournaments there, in which case then it's not been played as much for tournaments, but people still got there out to play it. Um, so that's it. As you can see, we decided in the day here at Top Golf in Birmingham playing another cup of golf. That's right. Something else that I suck at. So, uh, <laughs> so David. I'm William. These are the boys. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, see you later. See y'all later. I think you're running out of steam a bit, aren't you? <laughs> Whoa, it's got that one.